Hello everyone, KDE Plasma 5.10 has been released now and uh, I'm going to take a look around at some of the changes. There's been a huge amount, but we'll take a look at the noticeable ones. So I know the memory usage there seems to be a bit distorted in KDE Neon, but yeah, it's relative. I've been using the operating system a little while. It's been giving me quite a headache tonight, but it's not entirely the fault of Plasma. So first change, folder view is now the default view on the desktop. Supposedly by popular demand, but who demanded it? I certainly did not, but it's quite easy to turn off. So you can look around your various folders. So the folders will open if you hover over them and you can navigate around reasonably well. You can open up files from here, move them around. Yes, it's supposed to be a useful feature. So yeah, you can move that icon there. I don't know, don't like it, it's not for me, but if you like it, well it's there. Happily it's easy enough to turn on and off with configure desktop, and you can just switch between layout, desktop or folder view. Yes, apply now. Job done. The audio volume indicator now allows you to choose between different devices, and I tell you what, that has been most useful because I had some problems initially with my motherboard in that the older Linux kernel would not recognise the onboard graphics card. So I resorted to using the HDMI output, but now I don't want to use it, and I want to go back to using the onboard sound card. <laughs> so yeah, it's been getting a bit mixed up. Oh, and I found out you can get a sound output over DVI, which quite surprised me considering I didn't think it was capable, but apparently it is on newer graphics cards. You can now change the icon size on vertical panels. Quite what effect this has, don't know, maybe I need to open more applications. All I can say though is the layout does look a little bit better. I remember some of the earlier versions of Plasma 5, this did look a bit off, some of these icon sizes to the launcher size. So happy that's now sorted, the presentation there does look a bit nicer. There's different options now on the middle click, so you now have an option of grouping and ungrouping. I'm still going to go with the option of new instance, it's one I've been using for some time. If you right click on the icon for Dolphin, you can now switch straight to some of the folders, so all your places, so I can go straight to my NAS. And that's gone across to the other monitor. I have to get this behaviour sorted properly, but yeah. But yeah, that's quite a nice feature there. The one feature I can't get working is, by left clicking and using Alt, you're supposed to be able to resize widgets, but I just don't understand where they're clicking in the video demonstration. So. I know the resize is there, but I'm sorry, I don't understand this one. I've been mucking around with this for ages. I'm probably being completely thick and missing blinding obvious, but I don't know. If, if I've been mucking around a while and can't get it going, I'm leaving it there. Discover has gained provisional backends for installing Snappy and Flatpak applications. I don't think you can do that just yet at the time of release. I think there's a snap called Hello World, and it's not coming up. There are no snaps are installed yet, try snap install Hello World. Yeah, I said that was one of them. So this is the full change log, and it is absolutely enormous, so yeah, quite a lot of changes have taken place on the new Plasma 5.10 desktop. That's ridiculous. One option I can't show you on a live system, there's a new media controls on the lock screen. I've given it a quick go, and yeah, it works fine. You can play, pause, next, previous. And that's just playing perfectly happy through Clementine. You can use a touchscreen keyboard at the login screen. Working for the future with Wayland. Something I've missed out on here by going for an NVIDIA graphics card. Starting to regret my choice. I know a lot of you guys said, yeah, I should have gone with AMD, but unfortunately they've bitten me before, and I wasn't in a rush to go back with them. So that covers most of the new features of Plasma 5.10. In terms of stability, everything is working absolutely fine. Although I can't get this Plymouth K control module to work, though I know it should be somewhere in the system settings. Nope. It's not a package either, so perhaps a new install of KD Neon may solve my problems. Because I know my version does date back to around 5.6 or 5.7, so yes, it is getting on a bit nowadays. 
that was a look at some of the changes in the KDE Plasma 5.10. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.